Phenerotoxin is a paralyzing neurotoxic peptide made by the bullet ant Paraphenera clavida. It prevents inactivation of voltage-gated sodium channels and therefore blocks the synaptic transmission in the central nervous system. Specifically, panerotoxin acts on voltage-gated sodium channels in skeletal muscle fibers, causing paralysis, and nociceptive fibers, causing pain. It is rated as a 4-plus on the Schmidt Sting Pain Index, the highest in the world, and its effects can cause waves of pain up to 12 hours after a single sting. Schmidt describes it as pure, intense, brilliant pain less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 like walking over flaming charcoal with a three inch nail embedded in your heel it is additionally being studied for its uses in biological insecticides mechanism of action overall panerotoxin disrupts normal function of voltage gated sodium channels in both vertebrates and invertebrates it causes repetitive firing and prolongation of action potentials, particularly in the central nervous system of insects. The increase in signaling is what causes the intense pain from bullet ant stings. Phenerotoxin is in an inactive state when stored in the ant venom reservoir due to the reservoir's acidic conditions, but it becomes toxic when activated via a multi-step process. The combination of phenerotoxin binding to a cell membrane in order to act upon a voltage-gated sodium channel and the movement from acidic conditions in the ant venom reservoir to basic conditions at the target site leads to phenerotoxin undergoing a conformational change that activates it. Caterol et al. hypothesized that some polypeptide neurotoxins that modify voltage-gated channels function via a voltage sensor trapping mechanism. The hypothesis states that neurotoxins similar to panerotoxin, such as alpha-scorpion toxins, act upon sodium channels via binding to the channels. Receptor site 3, which normally affects the channel's ability to inactivate. Therefore, receptor site 3 neurotoxins often affect sodium channels by slowing or blocking inactivation. Normally, the region of the channel where neurotoxin receptor site 3 is undergoes a conformational change of an outward movement to lead to inactivation. Receptor site 3 neurotoxins are proposed to prevent this conformational change via interaction with acidic and hydrophobic amino acid residues at that site. When frog skeletal muscle fibers were exposed to panerotoxin, it was found that panerotoxin primarily affected voltage-dependent sodium channels by decreasing the peak sodium current and also inducing a slow sodium current. This combination resulted in the sodium channels activating at very negative potentials and deactivating very slowly, a phenomenon commonly seen in excitable tissues. Panerotoxin is considered as a slow-acting agonist for smooth muscles. Structure The panerotoxin peptide is stored in an inactive 25 residue peptide in the venom reservoir of Parapanera clavida. The secondary structure is characterized by a helix turn helix motif, two alpha helices connected by a beta turn. The two alpha helices are formed by residues 3 to 9 at the N terminus, and residues 17 to 24 at the C terminus, and they are connected by the beta turn at residues 11 to 16. From a three dimensional perspective, this structure forms a preferential V shape with the two helices undergoing loose non covalent interactions with each other. This is notable because of its structural similarity to other peptides that interact with the membrane, and indicates that panerotoxin will also interact with the membrane and thereby affect embedded voltage-gated sodium channels. Furthermore, the structure of the peptide shifts from a random coil to the structured helix turn helix when introduced to a lipid bilayer environment, which indicates that this motif is important for interacting with the membrane. The two alpha helices, however, have markedly different characteristics. The N-terminal alpha helix is a polar, containing a central hydrophobic core with hydrophilic residues at either end, and is uncharged. It is similar in structure to a transmembrane signal peptide and implies that it will anchor at the membrane by burying the hydrophobic core within the bilayer. In particular, the bulky and very hydrophobic phenylalanine residue is important for interacting with uncharged lipid bilayers, such as those composed of phosphatidylcholine. The C-terminal alpha helix is amphipathic with one side displaying polar and charged residues, and the other displaying nonpolar residues, which drives insertion into the plasma membrane. 
Specifically, the positively charged arginine and the nonpolar alanine residues were both shown to be essential for panerotoxin potency. See figure, where the hydrophobic red, and hydrophilic blue regions of panerotoxin and the lipid bilayer align, demonstrating that the structure is evolved to insert into the membrane, which will promote interaction with the voltage-gated sodium channels. Toxicology Many people consider a sting from a bullet ant to resemble the sensation of getting shot. Justin Schmidt, an entomologist who developed the Schmidt Sting Pain Index, described it as pure, intense, brilliant pain less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 like walking over flaming charcoal with a three inch nail embedded in your heel, and considers the sting from a bullet ant to be the most painful insect sting he has experienced. The pain from bullet ant stings can last for many hours, even up to 24 hours. Both the immense pain and the duration of the sting are due to the effects of panerotoxin. In addition to the infamous pain, symptoms of stings from bullet ants as well as stings from other ants of the genus Parapanera as well as the genus Dinopanera include fever, cold sweats, nausea, vomiting, lymphadenopathy and cardiac arrhythmias. Toxicity assays have found that the LT50 of panerotoxin, delivered via viral injections to S. frugiperta larva, was at 131 hours post-injection. A dose of 105 pfu of panerotoxin was sufficient to kill the S. frugiperta larva, and a dose of 10 nanograms could paralyze them. Based on these experiments, scientists believe panerotoxin can make a good candidate as a bio-insecticide because of its neurotoxicity to other insects, making it capable of immobilizing or even killing insects infected with it. The thought is to make a recombinant virus by engineering a baculovirus that expresses panerotoxin. However, one of the major concerns with this idea is that the panerotoxin expressing recombinant virus may be toxic to the environment because it is genetically modified. See also Ant venom Toxin References External links Antinociceptive effect of panerotoxin POTX, in rats. Pesticide, 2008, 1-2, 135-141. ISSN 0208-8703. Gerritsen BB, September 2001. Princess Bala's Sting. Protein Spotlight, 14. ISSN 1424-4721.